everyone, this is Jesse Singh, and in this video, I'm just going to talk about Toys R Us. Uh, if you don't know this already, maybe you do, that uh, Toys R Us might be closing down. Uh, you know, they, uh, they're going to, I believe they're declaring, declaring bankruptcy. And um, it's just so strange that a company that's 40 years old uh, failed to adapt. You know, they have locations in over 38 countries. Uh, they were huge. They're very specialized, and I just believe that they're closing down because, you know, like I said, they didn't adapt. They could have done so much with this. Uh, uh, companies like Amazon are just taking over pretty much, even with the toys and all that. So, what could have Toys R Us done differently to help them survive? I think if they had something like, for example, McDonald's, uh, they have a, you know, play pay. Uh, Sorry, play, pay, a place. So once you get in, you can go in there, get some food and eat, you know, have a good time. You know, Toys R Us could have ex had some kind of experience like that, you know, once you get in their stores. Maybe something like Legoland, but for like, you know, Toys R Us Land or something. Have some kind of, uh, uh, basically a place where you walk in and enjoy, you know, all the cool toys that are you know positioned nicely <laughs> so you guys can check it out but they didn't do any of that they just thought you know have a web online website and just by having a retail store they will be okay but you know toys you can get almost anywhere nowadays so for example walmart you can get toys and get amazon ebay so you know other retail stores and, you know, like companies like Sears and uh, Target in Canada, especially, suffered the same fate. They basically have to pull out. Now, in Toys R Us uh, in Canada, they're closing down. It's unfortunate. But this just goes to show, it doesn't matter how old your company is, that uh, you are never, you know, anything can happen. So you'll have to adapt. I think they could have done a lot more with their brand. Uh, but the good news is the brand will actually survive. I think they got a bunch of buyers that are going to buy it and maybe revamp it. Uh, maybe even be specifically uh, you know, online only. But I just think they could have done a lot more. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there's a lesson that everything is pretty much going online. If you don't adapt, you know you're going to basically going to be left behind and Toys R Us is an example of that <coughs> companies like Amazon just completely took over you know they got prime shipping they got one day shipping they're even thinking about uh, actually they're testing drones uh, for the same day shipping I mean they're going crazy with this stuff so I mean that is what I'm talking about Amazon is adapting you know, eBay is doing okay, not as good as they used to, but uh, they're still adapting. You know, they're trying to re they're trying to brand themselves a little bit different now as well. As you can see, they have c commercials on TV, but you know, Toys R Us just didn't do the same thing, and this is hence why it's not doing well. And hopefully, they can revamp it, and not a buyer will come along and maybe you know blow it out of the park. But we'll see about that. You know anything is possible so guys that's it for this video let me know in the comments below what why you think toys r us took a crap <laughs> pretty much well like what could it what could it, they have done differently to succeed in this new economy uh you know again keep you know put the comments below there let me know and also make sure you like this video share this video subscribe to my channel so i can put out more content for you guys on uh you know i'm gonna try to go for two to three videos a week i've been slacking recently but uh, i really want to get back into this uh let me know guys in the comments below again um uh, if you don't know what i do i'm personally specialized in ecom uh we leverage platforms like amazon and ebay and if you want to learn how you can be part of this new economy visit the millionairedrive.com i'll have a big the millionairedrive.com somewhere here just go ahead, visit that, and uh, check it out for yourself. And if it's for you, you know, get you know, get started. If it's not, you know, you can.
just come back to my channel and enjoy the free content that I put out all the time. So having that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.